Hey up guys, Left Handed Gamer here. Today's video we're going to be talking about Modern Warfare, and particularly Modern Warfare 2. Uh, obviously with the news of Call of Duty Modern Warfare getting a reboot, um, it's inspired me to go back and play the the first two, Modern Warfare 2 and 3. I, obviously we've been over Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 1, um, that got remastered a couple of years back and you know everybody's refreshed with that, but Modern Warfare 2 and 3 I feel I feel they've been missed. I feel there's a there's a, a remastered opportunity being missed there. Maybe they'll come this year beforehand. Who knows? But uh, anyway, I've gone back through them on the PC and smashed through both of the campaigns. And I, I'm ashamed to say I've forgotten how good they are. Like they are, they are amazing. For I I mean, obviously the gameplay's a little bit dated now in terms of the movements to what we're used to with the mechanics of some of the modern games, but. The storytelling, the the missions, the 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 bonds you have for the characters. I mean, Captain Price, So McTavish, Roach, um, Yuri, the Spetsnaz guy. It it just it, oh, it's so so good. <laughs> forget about Ghost, he's like one of the most, uh, you know, iconic characters from the series. Uh, not only that, his death was so brutal, um, you know, from that dirty bugger uh, Shepherd, Colonel Shepherd. Um, so yeah, obviously Ghost was a good mention. We then move on to the beginning of the game, if you can remember, we uh, start off as Roach and you are with Soap and you're about to climb the, 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 the ice wall, etc. before then uh, scaling out on, scaling out, sliding out, whew, zipping down the mountain line in your schema bills. Now the one that I do want to talk about that I, com I even completely forgot, and this is the first time you see this mechanic introduced into the Call of Duty series, is um, the submarine level, where you start off as one of the, the SEALs guys coming out on the sub, and you approach the, the oil platform, <laughs> and you perform your first stealth kill. Then, obviously, from that, you get introduced to the breaching. Now, again, uh, a shame to say this, I completely forgot about the the breach mechanic in this game um, if you can't remember it's when you put the breach on the wall uh, you detonate go in and the whole room and then gameplay is slow motion while you take out each enemy as you clear it for saving the hostages etc I completely forgot about that I forgot that mechanic even existed so you can imagine my surprise when I went back and played the game to see that in here it was it was brilliant so for, you know, for me, the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare, I would like to see that. I'd like to see it toned down in speed a little bit, a little bit more tactical stuff towards it, a little bit like Rainbow Six, but not obviously not quite the same. And I would like to see the ability to be able to lean, obviously, and breach him, things like that. I mean, it's such a cool mechanic in this game. Uh, I'd like to see that make a return. One of the next E missions that I like is the Gulag, when you go in and rescue Captain Price, but obviously at the time, you didn't know it was Captain Price, you just knew him as Prisoner 627. Now, I remember first time doing this, loving it, because if you remember back, you're on the bridge when you, um, Price thrown you his pistol and you shot um, Zakharov, <coughs> or Zakaev, sorry, Zakaev on the bridge at the end of Call of Duty 4. Um, he wasn't too sure if, you know, Price went and then went on to make it. Now, we're quite a bit into the game at this point, so you have no idea uh, who this prisoner is. You're just going in to rescue him. You fly in on the, on the helicopter, um, giving you, you know, your sniper support to start with, you land, you then fight your way through the prison cells into the gulag itself, before then finally breaching the wall where Prisoner 627 gives you that dig to the face and then you realise that it's actually Captain Price. Now, the little touch that I love about it is when Soap hands him back his pistol from the first one. It was, it's just brilliant. I absolutely loved um, this mission and that, those scenes. And then, of course, the place starts crumbling in because the, um, the, the, the fighter jets are, are too stupid to realise that it's, uh, you know, it's all safe now and start bombing the crap out of the place. So you obviously have to fight your way through and then hook up. And I just love the whole animation of hooking up and then shooting up on the helicopter. Uh, the whole place is just, you know, falling apart. It's, it's just brilliant. It's that, um, what do they call it, that interactive movie. It's, it's just amazing. I absolutely love it. I 
I've included this clip, not because the mission was particularly great. In fact, I didn't really like this mission. It's the one where you have to go up and get the intel uh, up in the cabin, um, which then later became the multiplayer map. But more because um, of this moment when you're, you're patrolling in, you're moving up to the cabin, and all of a sudden the mine has just come out of nowhere out of the ground. And uh, obviously if you don't duck and cut, get in cover, it just detonates in your face. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just, just a cool, cool little clip that I enjoyed from the game. So of course, you've dealt with the whole mine business. You've pr pushed up to the, the cabin been at the top of the hill and you've got the intel we've held off the enemy forces and, and it's just the, the betraying moment that you know you've got the uh, I can't remember whatever it is the satcom box that he wants and the Chinook comes in it lands and Shepard comes out the back and just just executes Roach obviously the character you're playing at the time executes Ghost we've seen only the clip obviously at the beginning of this video and yeah, it's just such a heartbreaking moment of it just comes out of nowhere and and then while you're sort of still semi alive to just douse your fuel set fire to you. It's just brutal. Uh, yeah, a few tears were shed to that. I'll tell you it's 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 a hardcore moment, but a great one nevertheless. After the betrayal of Shepard, you go to Price and um, you see it from his perspective of what's happening at the time when you're in the boneyard fighting pretty much everybody. Everybody's against everybody. You've got Makarov's guys, you've got Shepard's guys, everybody's just scrapping in, in the boneyard. And I just I just love these just these little moments within the game where it's it just it, everything's kicking off, be it, you know, the, the um, I can't remember what you call them, the little rubber boat, thingy boats, if you want to call them that, uh, going into the back of the Chinook, or in this one, you're in the Land Rover, burning along the, the runway, your jeep's coming in left and right of you, trying to take you down, and you, you end up having to take control of the steering wheel because the driver's been killed, and just rag it onto the back of the uh, the, the, helico uh, the plane, sorry. I think it's brilliant. I just It's just cool little things like this. I feel... Uh, just overlooked in, in single player games now. I, can't, I certainly can't think of a single player game, especially the latest Call of Duty. It just, just didn't live up to this sort of you know, hype and excitement. Makarov has captured the uh, Russian president. He's got the nuke codes and he's launched a nuke. And I think this is just really cool because again, it's just another perspective that I didn't foresee coming in, in this sort of game where you're in space, you're, a, you know, you're an astronaut doing some repairs or whatever on the space station and you can see the nuke in space and then obviously detonate uh, and the after effects of that. I, I just think it's really cool. Uh, I'll allow it to play out so you can see it in its entirety. It's only a couple of seconds long, but it's just, it's just another, another moment that I'd forgot existed within the game. That one, keep tracking the bogey. We're looking into it. Stand by. Houston, we're not scheduled for any satellite launches today, are we? ISS Houston, stand by. We may have a problem here. Houston, this is ISS Control. Um, any word on the. The little details like this one, like the detail of like hooking on with your D clip and that and then repelling off and the, the brutalness of like watching the guy's life fade away for his eyes as you repel down and take him out. It's, it's just, again, fantastic. I completely forgot about it. I wanted to get that clip in here just to, you know, reminisce and remind you in case you guys forgot. It's just really good. We fought our way through uh, Shepard's men. We've gone through all the, the cave systems. We've uh, shot his, uh, his plane, his helicopter down because we're in the, the water now, the dinghy. We've fallen off the waterfall and we're now hunting down Shepard. You're stumbling through the, the dust and obviously we know what happens. He ends up sticking his blade in you. You don't know whether you're bleeding out. Um, it's quite a, you know, a heart-wrenching moment of like what's happening. Price is just getting the kick, kick kicked out of him. And then uh, Soap just pulls it out of the bag, rips the knife out, 
hoys it in his eye, game over, seeing the good night shepherd. Um, it's amazing, such a brilliant way to end uh, Modern Warfare 2, which left it perfectly open for the next one, obviously Modern Warfare 3. S just one of my favorite scenes in, in, the, in the genre in itself, um, because it left, remembering that when these came out, there was years between them. So you had such a long time to wait to find out Soap gonna make it, what's up with Captain Price, where they're gonna go, the whole of Shepard's men are now gonna be after him. Makarov's still outstanding, what's happening with him? Obviously he's launched the nuke, etc. It was brilliant, I absolutely loved it. And to go back now, all these years later and play, it still had that intensity, I it. it was great. Um, as I say, you know what happens, we get into the helicopter with, um, with, <coughs> excuse me, oh, what's his name? The helicopter pilot at the end, uh, oh. Oh God, of course, it was Nikolai. We, uh, if I remember rightly, in the first one, we have to go and rescue him because he gets captured because the helicopter goes down, etc. But yes, Nikolai, obviously, we get into his helicopter, off we go, end of Modern Warfare 2. And yeah, I mean, what a game. What a game. I, I advise you, if you've got it, go and play it again. It was brilliant. I just hope, uh, like I say, the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare just captures these cool little mechanics, cool little cinematic scenes, and just enhances on them. And I think we're in for a, uh, I think we're in for a great game, because let's be honest, Call of Duty of late has, uh, well, it hasn't been great, has it? So, yeah, right, guys, until next time, I'll see you in the next one, which is uh, going to be the Modern Warfare 3, very similar to this one. We'll just recap some of my highlights and best bits in it. And, uh, yeah, till then, take care. So... So...